everyone welcome to Max and Soji's channel and if you're wondering about my name those are my dog's names Max and Soji and my middle name does happen to be Max as well so I'm Elaine Max uh, I have a haul to share with you from artitechsupplies.com and uh, uh, and then another haul from somewhere else. So I'll go ahead and show you the Art Attack supplies first. And I just want to remind you that Tracy right now is having a 40% off on all of her clearance items. And there's some awesome deals in her clearance section. So go uh, check those out. And uh, I'll go ahead and get started. So I had to have this paper pad. It is adorable, the Sweetheart uh, Pattern Pad. It's the Tilda. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go through it really quickly. I'm going to angle that right there. And you do get three, is it three sheets of each? It looks like there's four. So that'll uh, be plenty of paper to add to your projects. I like this because I'm going to be able to use this I think for Christmas. It has the the deer on it and then look at the back side is just as beautiful. So you get four of those and then the polka dot and the red and look at that. You can use that for Christmas. And then this one looks like doilies and then you of course get the beautiful floral print on the back. And then this one kind of like the little small flower pattern and blue on that side. Pretty, pretty. And then this one again with the deer. It's so pretty. So I had to have that. And of course, the little paper candy box is what they refer to it. And this is so cute because it has the little dolls in it. And they come in three different sizes. It's a little teeny tiny one. And then a medium size. And then the larger size. So cute. And then these flowers are gorgeous as well. These little die cuts and those come in several different sizes as well I think three different sizes and then that way you don't have to uh, cut your paper in scallops they included those and uh, you get a few of the scallop circles in several sizes and patterns and then some tags so I can't wait to make a card with these. You know I love to make cards, so there's that set. Uh, bu, bu, bu. Okay, so I'll set that aside. And then I also got the Autumn Tree. I love this one because of the die cuts. And then this will be great for fall. Love that. I think they're the same pattern, just in different colors as the one I just showed you. Ooh, love this. I just love making cards. That's my thing. And that? this is like a steel blue. Love that color. And there's the pattern paper on that. Okay, and that's that. And I'll go ahead and show you the little die cuts. I love birds and these blue jays are gorgeous and perfect for the paper pad that goes with it. Here, I'm going to lay these down here so you can see them. And they come in several different sizes. And those are the birds. And then some of the flower die cuts. And then also some scallops, larger flower die, and this is what I absolutely love. Look at this, the little tree. And these come in three different sizes, or yes, is it three or two? 
I think, let's see, that's two, yeah, two different sizes. Look at that tree. Gorgeous. And then, of course, some tags. And these are a lot more affordable, affordable than the other um, candy boxes that um, are from Tilda. So have a look on Tracy's store, artoftexasplice.com. So those are the two things. And then uh, also some of my standard stuff that I like to get from her store. And uh, I have the paper pad for this, and I know pretty soon it'll be sold out. So I went ahead and got the dimensional stickers for the Seaside Life, I think is what the name of it is. And then also, I love this, this background paper. Um, this one is the, let's see if it has a name. Uh, I'm not sure. She, there's two different ones you can get. The background, that one, and then this one. This one's my favorite. And then she also sent me some of the, oh, sorry, uh, 3x4 ATC cards, which are great for pocket pages. And I never have had any of the ATC, so I'm uh, looking forward to going through this and, and uh, making a card. So that's my stuff from Art Attack. Oh, I got one more, a couple more things from Art Attack that I'm so happy to have because my um, cupcakes that I make, which I'm working on one now. My little jar cupcakes. This one that I crochet. I like to add these flowers that I got from Art Attack to my box that I put my cupcake in. And these are so pretty and they're so inexpensive. So if you're looking for flowers to add to a project, you've got to get these. Look how pretty those are. So I got this size and I also got got some in the smaller size. So perfect for my cupcakes. Thank you, Tracy. And then I, uh, when I did the project for the uh, sweet thing swap, people were asking me about the cupcakes, the glitter cupcakes that I made. Well, I went to a um, expo. It was a, a dye expo. And this is the dye for the cupcake. And let's see who makes this. Uh, it's by ElizabethCraftDesigns.com, but I got it from Christian Lifestyle Scrapping Scrap Scrapigators. Here, I'm gonna put that up close. Come on, focus. There we go. And it was $8.95 for this die. And here's the other website. And what it does is it cuts your cupcake out just like this. It has a lot of open areas. And when you cut it out, you adhere it to this clear double-sided adhesive. And this is from the same store. And uh, it's also from the Elizabeth Craft Designs. So you add this to this after you peel off the uh, protective sheet and you add glitter to it. And you must have this ultra fine transparent crystal glitter. It's super, super fine. And I got it from the same vendor and it was $460. So this was $460, $895, and $470 for five sheets. And that's how I made my cupcakes. After you add the trans, uh, this uh, transparent glitter, you can color the glitter with your Copics. So you can come in and color any of the areas with whatever color you want. Um, once you add the glitter, just make sure you rub it really fine and use a brush and wipe off any excess glitter. 
and um, uh, yeah, that's how it's done. Uh, if I make another cupcake, I'll do a quick tutorial on how it's done, but that's it's pretty simple. So you guys have all worked with glitter before; it's pretty easy. So anyway, there we go. That's my haul from artofexsupplies.com, and head on over to Tracy's store and uh, check out all the awesome stuff that she has uh, right now in her store. So thanks everyone for watching, and take care.